Did you know Windows has a command line based package manager? It's called Winget, and it's available on Windows 11 and Windows Server 2025 as part of the Desktop App Installer System component. As you may already know, Linux has several CLI based package managers. The most popular are APT for Debian based distributions, including Mint and Ubuntu, YUM and DNF for Red Hat based distributions, including CentOS, Rocky, and Oracle Linux, Zipper for SUSE based distributions, including SUSE Enterprise Linux and OpenSUSE. As with the Linux variants, Winget can install, remove, and update software inside a terminal, PowerShell session, or command prompt. For Windows 11 and Windows Server 2025, Winget is already installed. Open an administrative or elevated terminal or PowerShell session and type Winget to see the basic help menu. Use Winget search to find an application. If prompted, hit the Y key to accept the source agreement terms. Winget does not accept wildcards, but will match partial name queries. Go figure. There will be four fields, name, ID, version, and source. To install, type Winget install dash dash ID with the ID name. Accept the license terms agreement if prompted. Installing using the dash dash ID option can help eliminate possible name conflicts and confusion. To install multiple applications, you must loop through the package IDs. To view installed software, type winget list. This will show the current list of installed software. An additional available field may show updated package versions for eligible installed applications. You can also see the applications you installed earlier in the Settings app. Right-click Start, Settings, Apps, Installed Apps. You can also view the installed applications in the Legacy Programs and Features Control Panel applet. While still in the terminal, type appwiz.cpl. Note that Programs and Features will not show Microsoft Store apps. We can upgrade applications and packages that have a version number in the available field. Use the dash dash upgrade dash available option to only show packages eligible for upgrades. You can update an individual package using the dash dash ID field like when performing an installation. To upgrade all eligible packages, use the dash dash all option. If you experience an error upgrading the actual app installer, which contains Winget, you may need to upgrade manually by using the Mystics bundle. I'll detail the process later in the chapter, Install Winget. Winget can also be used as a downloader to retrieve the latest application installer versions. By default, Winget downloads into the user's download folder, but this can be overwritten with the dash dash download dash directory option. To download multiple application installers, you must loop through the package IDs. The downloaded installers will also include a YAML manifest. These manifests can be discarded if not needed, but they can contain some useful information. Since Winget is a terminal based package manager, it can be used to manage software on remote systems through a PS session or SSH session. Use the enter PS session commandlet to enter a remote session. Ensure you have admin rights on the target computer. Install an application using the dash dash silent option to suppress progress dialogues. Disregard the random characters, but notice where it says successfully installed. Exit from PS session. Enter a remote SSH session. Install an application using the dash dash silent option to suppress progress dialogues. 
list the installed packages. WinGet behavior can be controlled by local or domain group policies. Under Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, Desktop App Installer, there are 15 settings that control the behavior of the Desktop App Installer and WinGet. Two settings worth noting that control whether or not a user can use WinGet are Enable App Installer, Enable Windows Package Manager command line interfaces. There are no equivalent user configuration settings for the Desktop App Installer. The Group Policy Editor is not available for Windows 11 Home. The WinGet CLI has its own syntax and conventions, which might seem out of place for PowerShell savvy users. Luckily, Microsoft provides a WinGet PowerShell module in the PowerShell gallery. To install, use the install dash module commandlet. When prompted to import the new Get provider, hit enter for yes. When prompted about installing from an untrusted repository, Hit Y to accept. Now we can use PowerShell and its syntax, conventions, and pipe ability to interface with WinGet. For example, using the PowerShell interface, we can search for all available applications and list only the IDs sorted alphabetically. Now we can filter using complex queries and wildcards. Here are some common WinGet CLI commands and the corresponding PowerShell commandlets. To get more information, type help followed by the commandlet. We can install WinGet on Windows 10, Windows 11 Enterprise LTSE, and Windows Server 2022. Go to the WinGet GitHub page and click the latest release. Download the following files. Unzip the dependencies zip file. Install the dependency prerequisites using the add app package commandlet. If you see an error that reads, this package cannot be installed because resources it modifies are currently in use, continue. Install the Mystix bundle. Add the license file. Optionally, add the WinGet PowerShell module. WinGet is now installed and will operate exactly like the version that ships with Windows 11. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and found it useful. If you have any feedback, corrections, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and pass it on to others. And I thank you for watching.